How's it going YouTube? Uh, Chad here. Uh, just going to do a quick video here on some of the horror movie paperbacks I have. Uh, I collected these when I was younger, like uh, high school and college, and uh, I'm trying to find some information out on them. Uh, it's really hard to find out online. I don't, you know, maybe I'm not looking in the right spot or anything, but uh, if any of you guys collect this kind of stuff or or know about it or interested in any, any of it, um, I'm not really into this into this collecting anymore so they are available for trade or whatever if you guys are interested but uh, I'll quickly go through them here and if you know anything about it uh, leave a message down below or uh, PM me or or just get a hold of me somehow alright so I'm gonna go run through these pretty quick because there's a there's a lot of them so uh, The Omen by David Seltzer uh, The Howling 2 this is by Gary Bradner the Frighteners, great movie with uh, with uh, Michael Keaton. It's actually written by Peter Jackson. Pretty cool. Uh, Predator with Arnold Schwarzenegger. The Exorcist. William Peter Blatty. The Exorcist Three, same same uh, author. This one says Legion at the bottom. Psycho Two. Robert Bloch, author of the original Psycho. Rosemary's Baby, R11. I always like this one. Great, co great, uh, great color on the cover. Uh, we got Poltergeist, novel by James Caan, based on the movie by Steven Spielberg. I Know What You Did Last Summer by Lewis Duncan. The House Next Door. Is it? It is for sale. Pray that no one buys it ever again. Another stack here. Halloween. Awesome cover on this book. I don't know if this cover image was ever used in anything else, but uh, it's pretty awesome. And uh, another copy of Halloween with a different cover. I know that these two. The two Halloweens, they were back when I back when I first got these. I know that they were selling on eBay. I can't. I'm pretty sure they they were half pricey. You know, like not just five bucks or whatever. But uh, yeah, good luck finding them now. I think. Up next, we got Jaws by Peter uh, Benchley. Uh, John's Jaws two. And. Uh, Another copy of each of those. Uh, some Amityville horror books here. This is uh, Murder in Amity Amityville. It says, Now a Big TV Special. We have the Amityville Horror 2 by John G. Jones. The Amityville Horror, A True Story by Jay Anson. I'm not sure if these are exactly... Uh, if any of these are movie adaptations because I know that there was like a legit story about Amityville. Here's another uh, a true story by Jay Anson. And Amityville, the final chapter. Done by John Jones as well. Here we have a cool one uh, Close Encounters of the Third Kind by Steven Spielberg. Now a Columbia picture. This one's actually printed by Dell. Um, see if I can find the date on it. Uh, 77. Uh, we have uh, Alien. In space, no one can hear you scream. This one's written by Alan Dean Foster. And we have Aliens, another Alan Dean Foster. Little James Cameron run. And Alien 3. Cubed. Same as uh, same same author Alan Dean Foster. Okay, so here's the last stack I got here. First is uh, the Jason Lives uh, Friday Thirteenth Part Six. It's written by Simon Hawk, based on the on the screenplay by uh, Tom McLaughlin. So this one is definitely an adaptation. Hide the Children. I don't think this was a movie adaptation. 
uh, or a horror movie, but Victor Miller, I believe he wrote the original Friday 13th. So I was into Friday 13th pretty hardcore, so I'm pretty sure that's why I picked that up. We have a couple of uh, the Friday 13th novels. This is the first Crystal Lake novel. It's uh, Mother's Day by Eric Morse. Another, this is the third one, Carnival by Eric Morse. Another copy of that one. Uh, this is number four, The Road Trip. Honk if you love Jason. And another copy of that one. And probably the newest book I have is uh, the Freddy vs. Jason adaptation. Uh, Nightmare on Elm Street, Freddy Krueger's Seven Swedish Dreams. Um, it just says based on characters by Wes Craven. I'm not sure if this is an adaptation or not. I think it just has seven stories about Freddy. There's another copy there. Uh, Charles Play 2. You know, if anyone's a Chucky's fan. Black Christmas. I know this was a... Uh, it's a, I, th <clears throat> I believe it's a Canadian horror movie, but from the s from the 70s, I believe. Uh, I know it has cult status. I mean, it's n it. I don't think it's very well known, but it's a uh, it's a great slasher film. If anyone wants to check it out, so I got two copies of that. And the last one is Invasion of the Body Snatchers. Two copies of that guy by Jack Finney. Now read the novel that inspired the most terrifying motion picture of the year. So, that's the novels I got. Um, if anyone knows anything about them, or if anyone collects this stuff, or is interested in them, just uh, get a hold of me. Uh, even if you know that they're not, you know, I don't know how many people collect paperbacks, you know, if, if push comes to shove, I'll just donate them a goodwill or whatever. So, uh, interested in hearing from you, so thanks, and uh, take it easy.